Greetings, my friends and friends. This is the Watch Pony here, and welcome back to another episode of Bartending in the Rift. Merry Christmas, one and all. That's right, it's time for the holiday edition of Bartending the Rift. And for today's episode, I'm going to teach you some holiday based drinks for all of you to enjoy. I will be teaching you how to make the Silver Quill, aka the Tweet Tweet Nog, and I'll be teaching you how to make the Ellie Oi, aka the Peppermint Ellie. Let's start with the Peppermint Ellie. Now the peppermint alley is just a peppermint patty with a twist to it. And since I know you don't just watch myself with boring stuff like that, I'm going to take it up a notch and teach you how to make some homemade hot chocolate. Now like any good hot chocolate, you're going to want to start with some milk. Specifically 2% milk, heavy cream, and evaporated milk. An optional step you can have is if you really want your hot chocolate to be really sweet, you can add in some condensed milk. Now here's how I did it. For one part of the evaporated milk, I put in one part of the heavy cream and two parts of the 2% milk. Or in more simpler terms, I measured out how much was in the evaporated milk can, and then I went up to that measurement with the heavy cream and then double it for the 2%. I'm saying it this way because if you want to put in two cans of the evaporated milk, I'm telling you how you can double it up. Anyway, now that the milk's on, be sure to whisk it around as you put it on medium high heat on the stove top. And you're going to want to keep stirring and keep monitoring it till it's piping hot but not boiling. Trust me, you're going to be drinking this sooner or later. You don't want to burn your tongue. Now for the chocolate, add in half a cup of cocoa powder and then stir it all together. And then add in a whole chocolate bar of dark chocolate. I specifically say dark because it'll give you some much needed richness from the regular cocoa powder as well as from all the sugar. I think 70% is a good amount, but if you can't can't find that or if it's a little too bitter for you, you can always use 60%. Or if you're one of those crazy people that actually likes your chocolate bitter, you can always use 80%. But in any case, stir them all together till the chocolate's nice and melted and incorporated into the mixture. And then finally top it off with some sugar. I'd say anywhere between half a cup to a whole cup is a good amount. Now the last steps are completely and utterly optional so you don't have to add these, but these are all flavor enhancers that'll give you some much needed flavor. And they are of course, salt, cinnamon, and instant coffee. I know what you're saying, instant coffee, won't they make you hyper? Trust me, it won't, it'll just add some chocolate flavor to it. Or if you want to get more hyper you can always add in more than just a teaspoon. Oh yeah and I almost forgot, make sure you taste as you go so you can get the right mixture of everything you want. For example if you want more chocolate add in more cocoa powder. If you want some more cinnamon, do that. But eventually, you'll have it all said and done. Once you've let it cool for a bit, go ahead and put it in your favorite mug. Now we can assemble the peppermint ellie, which starts with an ounce of peppermint schnapps. Then add in half an ounce of cream de cacao or any type of chocolate liqueur. I have Godiva chocolate left over from the crimson cookie, so I'm gonna use that. And then finally add in a teaspoon of cream de menthe. Cream de menthe? Cream de menthe? Cream of mint. It, it's cream of mint, okay? And finally, for that extra Ellie or kick, add in half an ounce of cinnamon whiskey. Stir it up nice and well, and there you have it. You have yourself a peppermint Ellie. Overall final verdict? I mean, come on, it's a peppermint patty with some cinnamon whiskey, which goes really well with hot chocolate. Of course, it's gonna be a positive. But let's go ahead and down this down and move into something a little more interesting, the mighty Tweet Tweet Nog. Now, we're gonna start off by making a traditional eggnog cocktail. And every good eggnog starts with two things milk and eggs. Crack one egg in there and add in about a cup of milk. Then add in some traditional eggnog flavorings. Cinnamon, nutmeg, allspice, all that good stuff. And of course for sweetness you gotta add some simple syrup. And this is where we deviate. Normally an eggnog is made with vodka but we're not gonna use vodka for this. Instead we're gonna use wild turkey bourbon. This is a nice high quality bourbon that is a bit on the expensive side but well worth it. Unfortunately since it's the holiday season I'm a little overspent money wise so you'll forgive me if I just use some Jim Bean bourbon. But anyway pop the top on your cocktail shaker and then shake it. You're gonna want to shake this very well and very hard because you're gonna want to emulsify those eggs. And then all that's left is to pour it into a small glass filled with ice and there you have it. The silver quill and the LEO are for all your holiday needs. I'm the Watcher Pony and happy holidays my bronies. I'll see you guys next time.